as our team seven. Okay. Anti-clockwise, let's do this quickly. 12 questions. We should finish in the next 15, 20 minutes. Okay? Team eight, yours. In the run-up to the 2012 Olympic Games, an Indian city hosted a special games. This was done in protest against one of the sponsors of the London Games. Some of the events hosted for this was 25 meter sprint, crab race, and assisted walking. In which city, which Indian city were these parallel games hosted? Who were they protesting against? For who, you need to give me a company name. So you can see Sebastian Coe's effigy there. Sebastian Coe was the main organizer of the London Games. They're burning some stuff. In which city were these parallel games held? Who were they protesting against? Who is not a person? It's a company. I'll be liberal. Go back to the text. I'm going to close pounds with pounces from 4, 5, and 6. 1, 4, 5, and 6. Yeah, image ones. 1, 4, 5, and 6. Closing pounds. Okay. Not exactly right, but I'll give it to you. Same, not exactly right, but I'll give it to you. This is exactly correct. Well done. Yeah, not exactly right, but I'll give it to you. One, four, five, six, all get plus 10. Teammate. Okay, so these games were held in Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Who are they protesting against? Mm, maybe Starbucks. Starbucks, okay. Team 7. Hyderabad and Bhopal. Bhopal and? Union Carbide. Uh, whose parent company is? We don't know the I'll be nice and give it to you. It's actually Dow Chemicals. Who was the sponsor? Union Carbide as a company doesn't really kind of exist anymore. It's Dow Chemicals, but I'll give it to you for Bhopal and Union Carbide or Dow Chemicals. Dow Chemicals was one of the sponsors of the London Olympics. Round of applause. School team cracking it very nicely. Seven also get plus ten. Or pounds you've already given, right? Team six, yours. There Comes Papa was one of the paintings that this artist was planning to send to the World's Columbian Exposition to be held in Chicago in 1893. He was advised to add something to the painting so that it would be better appreciated by Americans. Though it would have appealed to American viewers, such a scene would not have been common in his own culture. According to social customs of the time, having such a thing inside homes was considered unclean. Who was the painter? What did he finally add to his work? Even though that is not in his culture. This is, uh, is there an image? Okay, only the answer image. Okay, fine. Yeah. So who was the painter? What change did he make to his work? The reason we are asking, it's not some obscure painter. And it's not an American painter, obviously, because it says... So such a scene would not have been common in his own culture. Having such a thing, whatever he added to the painting, having such a thing inside his house would have been considered unclean. Okay. Team, you're pouncing. Oh, wow. Okay. That is, yeah, really going all out. Oh, very nice guess. Very nice guess. Sorry, it's incorrect. So, minus 10 to 7. Sorry, but nice try. Uh, questions with 6. Nobody else is pouncing. 7 and pounced. Pouncing? What is with all the school teams pouncing on this question? 7 and pounced. 3 are pouncing. Correct. Okay, that's unfortunately minus 10 to, you know, team 3. Okay, uh, team 6, go ahead. So, it's a guess, but uh, is the artist uh, Swami Vivekanand? Okay, and? And uh, the thing was mm, shoes inside the home. Shoes inside the house. Team. Pass the mic, pass the mic to your seniors. Team five. Quickly, guys, it's on the pass, please. 
the painter is Tagore. Tagore. And the change he made to his work was uh, the subjects wore shoes. Shoes. Let's see. The change was uh, he added pe pet uh, pets uh, to the painting. Pets means uh, domesticated animals. Pets. <laughs> Are you uh, going to actually stop hedging and give me an answer? And uh, what did he add to the painting? Dog. Okay. And who's this? And uh, it's uh, 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 Abhinandar. Abhinandar Tagore. Okay. Team two. Uh, so we're going with the uh, pets in the house. So a cat in cat. the house, and it was Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. Team one. Uh, for the painter, we're guessing Swami Vivekananda, and the change being he added a dog in the painting. A dog in the painting, and Swami Vivekananda. Team eight. You can ask team three, the school team. They'll tell you who the painter was. They got it right. Okay, so maybe the painter is Raja Ravi Verma, hmm. and the change was that he added pets to his painting. He added what? Pet in his painting. He added a pet. What pet? Most likely a dog. Is the right answer. It is Raja Ravi Verma, and he added a dog to the painting, right? Because they felt that Americans would respond very positively if you show like a pet along with the lady over there. There's a lady showing her. A kid that Papa is coming home, and so he added a dog to the painting. Of course, having a dog indoors would have been considered unclean. Great answer! Round of applause. Ten points to team eight. Five points to team four. Five to four. Ten to eight. Unfortunately, the teams that pounced got parts of it right. Question to seven. The erstwhile Madras Presidency implemented prohibition in Salem district in 1937 and gradually expanded it to several other areas. To compensate the loss incurred, something was introduced by the Congress government headed by C. Rajagopalachari. What was introduced? Give me a two word answer. Very simple. It's actually a slightly boring, dry biz type question. What was introduced? Biz. Just biz. What was introduced? Uh, a variant of that is something we are all familiar with today. Whatever we are all familiar with today, I only want the last two words of it in your answer. Or actually, ignore that. Just give me a two-word answer. What was introduced? What did he introduce to compensate for the fact that they had introduced, implemented prohibition? Minus 10 to team 4. Remember that it was introduced at state level by Rajagopalachari in the Madras Presidency. Okay. Directors for seven. Closing pounds. Seven, go ahead. Something introduced at state level by the chief minister equivalent. Income tax. Passes. That's what team four said. Is it CES tax? What tax? CES. Uh, CES tax. What? CES is just uh, another word for a type on, of tax. Uh, it was, uh, CES on alcohol sales. CES on? CES on sale, uh, alcohol sales prohibition. I can't hear you on what? Uh, uh, yeah, kind of income sales. tax. Okay, passes. So, service tax like GST, so service tax. Introduced on what type of thing? Like alcohol and no, alcohol is prohibited. To compensate for that, they introduced tax on what? You are saying service tax. Give me a two-word answer. Finally, is it water tax? Passes. Team three. Um, is it VAT? VAT, value added tax. What is value added tax essentially? It was um, a services tax before the GST was introduced. Okay. Passes. So a service tax on sugar canes, 
Service tax on sugar canes. Okay, nothing so specific. Team one. Uh, tax on cigarettes. Cigarettes. Nothing so specific again. A very heavy import duty. Import duty. Nice try. You are direct. Audience, yeah. No, nothing like that. Nothing so specific. Very simple, basic answer. Yeah, sales tax is all we wanted. Commercial tax or sales tax, right? So this is the first time sales tax is introduced in India, which is basically tax on selling of any goods. If you had stuck with your GST service tax thing, I might have considered something. As it happens, team three said value added tax. So I think at least we can give them five points. They were the only ones who came in the vicinity of saying something that was on goods. Five points to team three, minus 10 to team four on pounds. Question to team two. During World War II, women worked with hazardous chemicals without adequate protection such as chemicals such as TNT. Prolonged exposure to the sulfuric acid caused depigmentation, turning their skin yellow. This prompted them to be called dash women in reference to a practice used by miners. What name? One word, six letters. Canary These were the women. Please, hold on, hold on. There's pounds going on. What are you doing? Pounds from four, five. Anybody else? Five get, okay. Four, five get plus ten. Sorry, eight get minus ten. Four, five plus ten, eight minus ten. Pounds closing in team one are pouncing. With this, pounds is closed. Plus 10 to 1, plus 10 to 1, plus 10 to 4, plus 10 to 5, minus 10 to 8, and team 2. Now you can answer. Canary women. Canary women, that is correct. Canary in a coal mine, the way uh, canary birds were used by miners, they would send in the canary bird and figure out if the bird was alive and well and so on, and then decide whether oxygen levels were good enough for them to go down. Canaries are yellow in color, so these people, their skin depigmentation, made them to be nicknamed as canaries. So good plus 10 to team 2 as well, but team 2, relax from here on. You will only give others the answer. I have no problem. Team 1, you're direct. Okay. Audio, uh, play the audio, please. <laughs> song of a singer who was given a break by Jaydev in 1978 after he had won a national singing competition from a film which highlights the difficulties migrants from UP face in Mumbai. Which singer? Which film? One word, name of the singer. One word, name of the film. Singer has a distinctive hairdo even today. Hairdo. Hairdo, hairdo. H-A-I-R-D-O, hairdo, for the singer. He has distinctive hairdo even today. Yeah, one more time. Audio, Balu. Is still anticlockwise. It's with team one now. Yes, team four. Are you pouncing? Does the film journalist have anything to say? No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Go for it. We still pounce is close. Team one. One singer. Singer who's who's kind of even today performing. Uh, Udit Narayan and uh, Udit Narayan and Do Bigazamin. Do Bigazamin. 
teammates uh, we'll guess kumar sanu and dobi ghazamin seven shankar madevan and roti kapla makan okay six is it kumar sanu and kohli five so kumar sanu and uh, kumar sanu and roti kapda makan roti kapda makan four uh, uh, mike bupinder and katha three okay this one's going to be the first kumar one kumar sanu and pardesh and pardesh two film is salam bombay and uh, the singer is jagjit jagjit singh salam bombay is a little later movie okay first one coming back to the quiz master yes perfect answer absolutely right hari haran and gaman that's a fantastic answer from platinum 3 very well done rubik's cube here you go <laughs> hari haran and gaman absolutely right muzaffar ali's gaman and that's hari haran great answer there missed all the teams that was team 1's direct so team 8 it's yours this poet who was a master of urdu also had a western education to add to it traveled all over europe getting degrees from cambridge and munich his most famous work is about india but ironically he is the national poet of another country who is this seen praying at the mosque of cordoba very easy question very simple who is this seen praying at the mosque of cordoba in spain go back to the text three have immediately pounced has a four and seven and five three four five seven closing pounds in five four three okay three four five have pounced closing pounds congratulations minus 10 to team 5 Plus ten to team four, no more pounds is closed. Excellent. Plus ten to team three. Three four plus ten five minus ten. Team eight, take it away. Sir, can you please show me the picture again? Picture. Who's this? Is it Sheikh Mujibur Rahman? Passes. Team seven. Muhammad Iqbal. Allah ma Muhammad Iqbal. Absolutely right. Who wrote Sare Jahan Se Acha is the national poet of Pakistan. That's all we wanted. Muhammad Iqbal. very well read got degrees from various prestigious universities in europe well traveled and wrote sare jahan se acha plus 10 to team 7 you got the bounce points team 5 unfortunately went for kazi nazrul islam team 6 uh, your qu your question despite its name this creature mostly feeds on insects in north america and africa its australian cousin is known to known to feed on snakes The only geographic location where it can be seen accomplishing the feeding method that gives it its name is in the British Isles. The creature inspired the aerodynamism of a 1964 innovation which was built in that country for the Olympic Games. Which creature? What innovation? So people studied this creature. It was actually not when the thing was introduced, but after something was introduced in the country for the 1964 Games. it was causing some problem people then studied this creature and modeled the whatever it was after that and reduced that problem very much it was something introduced in a city in a world capital city for the 1964 games direct for 6 four are bouncing What is this? We have a lead. We'll sit on it and all. Come on, pounds. Take now. No, okay. Nobody is pouncing. Okay. Yes. I will listen to Doctor Bata. He is much more senior to you. Hmm. Okay. You're pouncing. No. Okay. Go ahead, Team Six. You can work it out, Team Six. figure out what is the innovation which where the olympic games were held what was introduced in that city and that design was changed after which creature two step workout only very straight forward
Guys, need an answer now. All right, don't pass. Quickly say something here. It's the anteater. Anteater and? And uh, the snout, that's, uh, they modeled the... Uh, they modeled? Uh, the, f f the flat tip of things, so that it flies around. Flat tip of, no, 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 of course you can't. Flat tip of? Uh, the, the, for the rings, I mean, uh, to showcase the colors of the Olympic ring. Colors of? The Olympic ring. The Olympic rings. So the innovation yeah. is... Can't it cross this going that way, no? Huh? Okay. So the innovation is the uh, Japanese bullet train. Japanese bullet train, and, and they the remodeled it after the the Kingfisher. Ten points, absolutely right. It is the Japanese bullet train. They found that the bullet train was making a lot of noise when it passed through tunnels. They studied the Kingfisher and found that the, when the Kingfisher swooped down to get its prey, its beak was so aquiline that it would make no noise. And they remodeled the bullet train after the Kingfisher. Uh, this is called biomimicry, is a great example of that. Uh, and the kingfisher actually does not eat fish except for the species in the British Isles. Excellent answer, plus 10 to team 5. And a very good pounce from team 4 gets them plus 10. Dr. Vata is saying, I told you so to Raktam. And here's your direct. This structure was completed in 1884 and needed a cap at its top. The government wanted a precious metal for the cap. Since this metal was difficult to separate from its ore at that point and went for the same price as silver, it was chosen. Which monument in the USA with a pyramid-shaped cap and which metal? First part requires a person's name. Plus 10 to team 5. Excellent pounds. Anybody pouncing? One. Okay. Closing pounds for team 1. Four more questions. Ten more minutes. We'll be done. Yep, second part. Sorry, minus 10 to 1. Take it away, 4. Uh, we'll say Washington Monument and Copper. Passes, team 3. Washington Monument and Copper. Team three. Do you have a guess? Lincoln Memorial and, and metal that was difficult to separate from its ore and was as valuable as silver. Platinum. Okay, Lincoln Memorial and Platinum. Team two. Washington Memorial, Washington Memorial and uh, Aluminium. Perfect answer. Washington Monument and Aluminium. That is the correct answer. This is the Washington Monument and the pyramidal cap on top of the Washington Monument is made of aluminium because aluminium at that time was so valuable. Right? Great pounds from 5, they got plus 10. 4 got plus 5 for saying Washington Monument and one, uh, 2 got the full plus 10 for the correct answer. 1 got a minus 10. But question direct to 1, to make up that minus 10. This empire was founded in the 2nd century BC and lasted around half a millennium. It was surprisingly matrilineal, though succession was patriarchal. A fact reflected in the names of the rulers. This map shows the extent of the empire. How do we figure out that this empire was matrilineal? Which empire? Going back, which empire, how do we know or how is it evident that it was matrilineal? Pounds from seven. Yeah, map again. Seven. Fantastic answer from team 7, plus 10. Superb answer from the school team. Okay, let's go back to the text, please. Right, team 1, pounds is closed. You can start. Um, the Pandyas and... Pandyas and? The fact that the 
capital cities were named after uh, capital females. cities were named after women nice guess eight designated spokesperson of the team only he can ask we'll go for maybe the chalukyas the chalukyas and how do we know that they were matrilineal i don't know i don't know okay six we'll go for <laughs> we'll go for chalukyas and the city names were based after the female names were based after women five uh so the empire is the rashtrakutas rashtrakutas so is part is like in the documents mentioned mm -hmm. the rulers are mentioned as the son of the name of the mother son of the name of the mother okay i think uh, empire is chalukyas and chalukyas uh, many i'm um, the kings used to have a uh, kind of a name of uh, females uh, as uh, before their name like pulashakin and they okay. used to okay got it team 3 pass team 2 what empire gupta empire ha huh? and images were all that of women very nice guesses all of them uh, okay we'll go to the audience i thought i'll let team 7 give the answer but let's go to the audience yes yes and how do we know that they were matrilineal Absolutely right. Shatavanas. All the rulers' names were after their mothers. So Gautami Putra, Satakarni, Vashishti Putra, and so on, and the Shatavanas. Five points to Team Five for saying that mothers mentioned in the names and all that. Excellent points, Team Seven. Round of a huge round of applause to them for getting it absolutely right. Four. It's your direct. In case of a mercury spill in places like hospitals, there are certain steps to be followed before cleanup. They include area evacuation, face masks, wearing gloves, etc. There is a specific step mentioned because mercury reacts with certain substances which might cause loss of value. What specific step is this that is also followed in operation theatres? So, if you go into an, if you go and get admitted, God forbid, and you have to go into an operation theatre, this step will be followed. the same step is followed when there's a mercury spill because mercury reacts with certain substances and might cause loss of value in those substances direct for four you got five points so direct for four scores after this question maybe actually let's play it blind it's more fun are you going five nothing very complicated i'm looking for one key word that's it yes yes it's a very general answer it has no it's nothing medically specific or anything it's a very generalish type answer no going okay five have decided to go pounds is closed meaning Beyond terrible. Okay, team four. Look them quickly. Uh, not wearing jewelry. Perfect. That's all I wanted. Not wearing jewelry. Removing jewelry because mercury reacts with gold and so on, and like degrades the gold substantively. And if you are in an OT again, you are not allowed to wear any jewelry. So if you, before you go into an OT, you have to remove your rings and your chains and things like that. Plus ten to team four, plus ten to team six. Unfortunately, minus ten to team five. Minus ten to five, uh, plus ten to six, plus ten to four. Five minus ten. Yeah. 
5 minus 10, 6 plus 10, 4 plus 10. No scores. We have decided to play it blind in the last two questions. Team 3, penultimate question of Patna Mindfest to you. A veteran of Kleiner Perkins, Caulfield and Byers, she left in 2012 to found her own firm, Cowboy Ventures. One of the first VC firms to be launched by a woman. It has invested in companies like Bloom Energy, Dollar Shave Club and Rent the Runway. However, her claim to fame is through a TechCrunch article she wrote in 2013 where she analyzed 39 firms. What is her claim to fame? Something that all of us know. I am just looking for one word in the answer. They are looking for one word. What is this person's claim to fame? It's a word that we all know. If you've been, if you follow the venture capital business startup world, this is a word you will know for sure. It's a word that is used in normal consensus. Not so much. I mean, you wouldn't use it in like everyday speak, really. You would use it only in a specific business context. But it's a very well-known word. Last call for pounds, no one, okay, team three. Team three, answer please. Guys, let's get an answer. Freelancing, nothing to do with freelancing, team two, nice, yes sir. Big shot. Nothing to do with short selling, big shot, etc. Team one. We guess that she. And today, of course, there are many, many more unicorns. 118 in India itself. Terrific answer. School teams really cracking it. Great answer, 10 points, coined the term unicorn, Eileen Lee. Okay, last question coming up of the general quiz and of Patna Mindfest. So once again, it's always fun. It's a pleasure, privilege for me and the Nexus team to come here and do this quiz. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dr. Vivek Singh. Thank you to the team for helping out. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. My colleague, Balu, is here. Uh, I usually on the face presenting all this, but there's a team that's put most of these questions together. And Balu here is part of our content team and has helped with the research setting and is helping with the uh, organizing over here. So thank you very much to everyone for attending. Uh, it's nice to see such great turnouts. We've had almost 200 people attend every single event over here, despite it being a holiday weekend. So thank you. And last question of the quiz to Team 7. After a tragic 1959 incident, this person began a task that would take 22 years to complete. In 2023, a community from Bihar started a march towards Delhi. Through this Padayatra, they demanded the Bharat Ratna for him. The journey literally took place through the path he had laid out. Who are we talking about? Very simple local question to end the quiz. Good, everybody's pouncing. We wanted a full house on the last question. Plus 10 to team 8. Plus 10 to team 6. Your handwriting is atrocious. Plus 10 to team 5. Plus 10 to team 4. Team 3. Team 2. And team 1. And team 7, take it away. Full house coming up. Dashrat Manji. Dashrat Manji. That's the right answer. We began with Anand Kumar, we end with Dashrat Manji, carved out the mountain for over 22 years, shortened the distance between the two villages in Gaya district. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. A round of applause for all our finalists. Everyone got plus 10 on the last one. Finishing in eighth place, this is nearly 60 plus teams that took part, so it's, it is a great show. Finishing in eighth place are the school team on team number three with 45 points. Give them a round of applause. Finishing in 7th place are our team from IIT Patna on 80 points on table 6.
tied for fifth place are the newly graduate team from team 1 and the school team on table 7 with 85 points great show guys well done very well done pretty close finish team 8 st karen's finish in fourth place with 90 points congratulations great show by you finishing in the first half of the quiz bronze medal and third place today goes to IIT Patna, team number five with 115. After smashing the prelims, great show in the finals, but a couple of necks set you behind. Runners up today are team number two with 130 points. So, Litty Chokers in third place, Vox Machina in first place, and winning the quiz rather comfortably by a 45 point margin. From Calcutta and Delhi, Sarvamangala Sports Club on table four with 175 points. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to do a prize distribution a little, a little later. But before that, can all the finalists come up on stage for one group photograph? Thank you. Only the podium finishers, please. Litty Chokers, Vox Machina and SSC? Uh, so, Vox Machina.